Mum? How many times do I have to tell you, Ian? I don't want to be called Mum. Jan will suffice. Sorry, Mum. Jan. Why are you still wearing those ridiculous clothes? You bought them for me. I doubt that. So, how are you doing? Sex life, fantastic. Job, so-so. Communication from only son, absolutely diabolical. Just the usual. I've been really busy. Hmm. Don't tell me. You started another course. You know, the point is to finish one before you start another. What is it this time? Hmm? Pottery for the left-handed. Poetry for the deaf. Peter Pan for the boy who never grew up. It's a survival course called They Fuck You Up. Your mum and dad. Speaking of survivors, your father was caught by his third wife fucking his secretary from behind at a party to celebrate his fifth wedding anniversary, no less. Becoming a bit predictable, don't you think? You look so like him, you know. Two peas in a pod. Can I get my allowance now? Or am I wrong in thinking that I'm legally entitled to it? I hear you have another sponger staying with you. Let him stay for nothing, are we? Nope. So you say. He's my friend. Noun meaning chum, companion, comrade, confidant, crony, playmate, or soulmate. Just in case you haven't come across it before. Ian. Name meaning... Disappointment. Discontentment. Disenchantment. Disillusionment. Dissatisfaction. Distress. Failure. Frustration. And regret. Doesn't hurt me anymore. Yeah, it does. Oh, never as much as your father hurt me. You'll always be your father's son. <laughs> <laughs>